Play two years, Dylan and me, uh, me, Jordan and uh, Casey, we've been here and doing championship games. And, uh, you know, uh, we're a composed group and, uh, you know, we're just focused on the next game and what we need to do and just listen to what Coach Allman tells us. So do you have to guard against maybe a possible letdown, like, um, knowing that you guys beat Arizona by 30 some points the first time around? Um, not really going into the game with any preconceived notions of last night? No, never. Uh, this is like, this is Pete Frost, this is uh, up for grabs. Uh, uh, you know we can't we can't look at that last game. That last game's in the books, and um, you know we got to focus on what they're what they are now. Those teams are really good teams, and um, uh, we just got to really focus on our, on ourselves. Uh, you know, play with each other, uh, share the basketball, rebound, and and you know make some more plays. You made some big plays late. How difficult was it for you to stay engaged, having to sit for so long and keep your flow? When you um, it was difficult. You know, I've been in those situations before where I haven't played a lot. You know, I played on teams where there's great players and I have to ride the bench and I, you know, I, I know that uh, if I'm having a bad game I gotta be the biggest cheerleader and give the most confidence out to my teammates. If I'm not, I'm, I'm draining them and I'm taking away from that and you know that's selfish and uh, we can't have that and, and especially in these games. Uh, it's do or die and you gotta give it all and, uh, and you know, I'm glad we pulled out this win. You know, Tower's performance in the first half especially kind of carried this team as you guys struggled to find your footing what do you think of his play? He's playing a lot aggressive and he's playing well. You know, in these, in these tournaments, he plays really well. Um, you know, Tyler is, you know, the, like I said, the X factor of our team. Uh, you know, when he's getting it going, things open up, and he's another option in, in our seven rotation. So, um, you know, I feel good and I feel happy for him, and uh, you know, I want him to keep rolling. Yeah, I think you guys picked up six fouls in two minutes, and then didn't commit another foul for, or didn't commit three more fouls for 18. What was the adjustment there to kind of stop the fouling? And I think the rest backed up. They knew they called like four or five fouls absurdly. And, uh, you know, those, that's, that's a good group. But um, cheap, cheap, we just gave them cheap fouls. We weren't, we weren't ready to play. And, um, uh, you know, we changed it up. We really were defending and moving our feet. And uh, instead of giving them second chances to get at the to get buckets, uh, we stopped it. You've been here three years, three Pac-12 tournament championships. Is it just as easy as that? What's How's your feelings going into your third one? It's not easy uh, to get there. Um, uh, you know, it's hard work, and uh, you know, I just remember my freshman year getting smacked by 25, and uh, I never want that to happen. And I'm a winner. I want to get to you know, uh, uh, the most winning these places in each each aspect of the game, and this is one of them. And uh, you know, I really I really want to go out there and win this Pac-12 again. I feel like this team's ceilings a lot higher even than last year. I mean, a lot of talk about your experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, I love learned from my freshman year, my sophomore year, and now I feel like I'm a leader and very composed and uh, a higher IQ and, you know, I got guys who are veterans and, uh, you know, are playmakers and, you know, love to play the game and, um, uh, you know, our team is very unique. Uh, you know, we got seven man, seven man deep. We're very, we're very, we got a lot of depth. And, uh, you know, all guys that come in the game are just so confident in their game. And, and it just feeds off of everybody. You know, when one guy gets hot, another guy gets hot. And it's just a confidence thing with our team. Yeah. And do you feel like there's something to be said for going through the experience you had last year, you know, the lead age, and you know what it takes kind of Yeah, I mean, we know what it takes. You know, we won the Pac-12 regular season and the tournament, and we went all the way to the lead eight. And we were all crushed when we lost that game. And, um, you know, we want to get back there. And, um, and you know, guys have that on their mind. And, are ready to play. How big was Cabell's man in the first half, especially and his his kind of development the last three weeks? Yeah, he's he's playing he's playing real confident. You know, he's going out there loose and ready to play. And um, you know, having another another big man after Chris and uh, Jordan is you know amazing. You know, he gives us a lot. You know, he spreads the floor. Uh, he had a nice little jump hook, and you know, he's playing he played tough defense. And uh, you know, we need everybody from one to twelve. And um, you know, every guy is ready to play, you know, regardless if they're out for eight minutes, ten minutes, you know, those every guy's ready to play, and you know that's why we're so tough as a group because everyone has confidence and everyone in, uh, injects confidence into each other, and um, you know, we're, we're a confident bunch.